I'm Franny Evadon, current president of the Buffalo Society of Artists. The Buffalo Society of Artists is uh, just over 130 years old this year. Uh, last year was our 130th birthday. Uh, we have been an integral part of Buffalo's history, uh, general history, uh, and also the history of, of visual art. We also have partnered with uh, Hunt, Peter Hunt, uh, to open a gallery that will feature our exhibiting members. Uh, the very first opening is April 14th and features Bunny Layton and Susan Copley. We hope you can all attend. We thank ASI for awarding us $750 to help us uh, furnish our office, uh, our new office. Um, we are about to hire somebody in the fall to help us with resources and fundraising. Uh, this is what the office is for. Um, uh, we need to furnish it and also uh, get some technology for it. Uh, so we thank ASI for all of that. Hi, my name is Matt Dunning. I'm the executive director of Nusantara Arts. And we are an Indonesian music and culture organization here in Buffalo. We basically play the music of gamelan from Indonesia. And we have a bunch of educational classes happening. We have introductory classes. We have performances that we do in our community. Uh, you can see us play all around the city of Buffalo. We received uh, the Give for Greatness grant through ASI uh, for New Centaur Arts for 2022 and we're super happy because it's going to enable us to improve our capacity by funding a strategic planning process for our organization that's going to lay the groundwork for everything that we do for the next three to five years. So we're going to be able to plan for our future sustainably and make really good uh, plans for our future. Hi, I'm Don Hogue, the founder and executive director of Stitch Buffalo. Uh, Stitch Buffalo is a nonprofit organization on the west side on Niagara Street of Buffalo, and we serve immigrant and refugee women in the textile arts, either through educating them in textile techniques so they can produce items for sale in our shop, or um, supporting them with a skill that they already have and giving them materials so they can produce products for sale in our shop. Uh, when we applied for the Give for Greatness, we applied for the intention of um, upgrading our e-commerce, which is so essential for our business now when uh, we shut down for uh, the pandemic. We really boosted our e-commerce through our Etsy site and have quickly learned that it's um, time to move our e-commerce just onto our own website. So that's what we're looking to do with our Gift for Greatness grant. And I think. <laughs> Hi, my name is Beth Geyer. I am one of the co-founders for Unique Theater Company. We are a company of artists who uh, with, we, we like to offer a true theater experience for people who just want to give theater a try and we welcome individuals of all abilities. Um, we're so happy that we got the Give for Greatness grant because we are in that we are in dire need of ramps. And I'm Susie Hibbert, I'm the current artistic director of Unique Theater. So this is my first year as artistic director and we're really excited um, to make the theater space that we use more um, accessible and more inclusive. So with your gift, um, that's really gonna help our actors to feel really included in the stage and yeah. not have to struggle. My name is Christopher DeWalt. Unique thing I know is a great company. I've been working with Beth for my, th for my three years now. It shows up not just my acting skills, but everybody else's acting skills as well.